Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Sarah and I resell fashion on Poshmark and eBay and this is the Nifty Nook Thrift channel and that is also the name of my Poshmark closet and my eBay store, both linked below if you're interested in checking them out. Um, but this channel is all about reselling fashion, uh, secondhand items that I pick up from thrift stores, wherever I can find them. And today I thought, I hadn't really planned on doing this video today, but then I was like, well, um, I'm here and might as well. It doesn't have to be a perfect video, right? So I am at the Goodwill outlet. I just got here, so I'm not like all sweaty and stuff yet, but I thought I would actually take you guys in with me. I mean, I hope I'm allowed to. I'm gonna try to be discreet about it. Take you guys in with me and see what we can find here. Um, and then I might like, I probably won't do a full haul after this, but I'll probably at least show you the highlights and then I'll show you some stuff as I find it. So let's go and get in there. It is kind of crowded today because it's a Saturday. Um, so I'm not looking forward to there just being people everywhere. That's something I've been really surprised about. Uh, when I've watched some other people's videos when they're at the bins, um, and there's like hardly anybody there and you can actually have a bin to yourself that like really really rarely happens here like there's always just people like r bumping into you I mean even on even on the less crowded days I feel like there's just people everywhere um I live in Indianapolis and the bins just seem to be really um really populated sorry there was someone right there I was making sure I, I thought he was trying to get my attention or something um so yeah it's gonna be a lot of people, so I'm gonna have to be really discreet about the camera, but let's get in there and do it. Indianapolis International Airport is like right here, guys. I live really, really close to it, so we've got like planes coming in all the time, really close to the ground. Anyway. This is what I got in one rotation, so if I pack it down, let's see, so I got that much in just the first rotation. I feel like that was only maybe 30 to 45 minutes, so let me show you what I got. So this is a French Connection cardigan, and um, usually when we're in between rotations like this, while they rotate, everybody has to go behind the lines like this, and they do it on the hour. This is a French Connection cardigan and I believe it's wool, a wool blend let's see yeah so it's um, a lambs wool blend there and it's just a really nice open front cardigan uh, it is sold at Nordstrom and usually does pretty well so usually when we're in between uh, rotations like this I check for stains and stuff like that I couldn't believe this guys uh, this was like the last thing I just found I just found some St. John 
So this is like a sleeveless cowl neck knit. It does have some pit stains, but I can get those out. Um, and it's a size large, which is amazing. So really nice cowl neck there. Really happy with that. Uh, let's see what else I got here. <laughs> Next, I got this men's sweater, and I am not familiar with the brand, Grayson and Dunn, but this is a wool blend, um, and it's a size large, so I think, I think that, that it might do really well, and I've got, it's got some elbow patches there, too, so give it a try. This is an L.L. Bean top, and it's like new condition, really pretty, it's going to do well with L.L. Bean, and it is a size medium regular, just kind of a basic, but it is new condition. This is a pair of inside out. <laughs> Old Navy pants. Uh, they, I typically would not pick up uh, Old Navy except plus size if it's an interesting piece, but these are a linen blend. Let's see. But these are a linen blend. Um, so even though this is Old Navy size small, um, I am still going to be able to move this for probably $15 to $18. Okay, next up we have this pair of uh, biking capris. Um, I can tell they're biking because they've got this padding in the butt area. And this is a brand I've never heard of. Canari? Uh, Canari? Uh, but I will run a comp on it and see how it does. Size large, so I thought it'd be worth picking up biking where it tends to do pretty well. This I just found here towards the end of this rotation. This is a really, really nice men's car heart. Fire resistant. FR stands for fire resistant, which is more expensive. You can demand more for it. And it's a size 4X, which is like amazing. Really hit the jackpot with this. Um, and it's, it's in lovely condition. I don't even think there's, I don't see any staining right now. It's just amazing. I'll probably get a lot of money for that. Next up is this Nike Air Jordan Jumpman cap. And sold a pair of Jumpman shorts in the past and they did really well so I was like okay let's try it again um, this is just a one size fits all and it's just really really nice it's kind of got like a flannel texture to it and it's really clean so I decided to sell that okay I wouldn't normally pick up this brand this is a bodysuit though by the brand Mono B and it is a size large um, I wouldn't only pick it up. It's like an athletic wear brand. I mean, I've sold it a few times, but it's not nothing special. But I thought because this is a, a bodysuit and it's a size large and it's good, that I would give it a try. This I may put back. We'll see. This is a navy blue. Um, it's like a two-tone popover shirt, um, and it's by the brand Splendid, which is from Nordstrom, and it's. I picked it up because it's a size large and it's in lovely condition. Um, it's got the wool tap sleeves, which convert to long sleeves if you want, and the back. The back is a different ten, so I'll decide a little bit if I keep that. This is a women's Lauren Ralph Lauren uh, shoulder zip shirt, and it is a size women's XL, so I picked it up. It is long sleeves and really good condition. It's got some cute detailing on the elbows and yeah, it's very lightweight and I think that is going to be a pickup because of the size. This is a tie and I found a really big bin of ties um, and I was, I always try to look through ties because usually like there might be like one really good one most of them are going to be crappy but this is a beautiful floral tie and check out what it is. And it is 100% so made in Italy, so really excited to find it. Here, pile. All right. So this is a pair of women's BDG jeans, and they are a size 28, which is a pretty good size, and they're called the Girlfriend High Rise. They do have some staining down here, which I will probably put them back at because it does look like grass stains in there. They're going to be pretty hard to get out, so I'm going to put that over here. Next up item I picked up is this pair of men's Under Armour shorts, and they are a like, size large. Blue shorts, just kind of a bread and butter piece. This is another tie. 
way that I'm going to try. Um, I feel like this brand does well. It's uh, Liberty of London. This is a vintage Liberty of London, 100% silk tie. Um, it is vintage for sure. So I'll run some times and see about that uh, if I want to keep that. I'm um, so really, really happy about this. It is a super distressed denim jean jacket, and it is by the brand Beauty Jean, and it's a size large. Um, the reason I picked this up is because we're in fall, and this is just such good condition. Really, I think this is really going to do well, really, really well, especially if it's a wonderful size. I'm excited about that. Here's another tie that I thought was really interesting. Um, really sure. Okay, so it does have some unstitching going on there, but it's 100% so it made in Italy by this brand. I've never heard of it, but I'm gonna run a comment and see what's going on with that. It's got this really cool abstract thing going on. This is a men's Timberland fleece pullover. This is a size men's XL, just really good for the season, really good condition. That will be a good thing to pick up. This is a women's CJ Banks squirt. And I don't normally pick up CJ Banks, but this is this is a women's 1X. And so I was like, ah, I think I'll give it a try. This is a pair of shorts I picked up, and they are New York Times Calvin Klein, size large. This is a pair of men's Carhartt fire resistant jeans. These are going to go for really, really good money. This is a pair of men's 4032, but they are fire resistant, so really, really good. This is a women's North Face, North Face black jacket, and it is a women's XL. Really, really good condition too. The fleece isn't all matted down. This is a women's Billabong boho top. And it's a size XL, so I thought that would be just a nice bread and butter. This is like really, really intricate embroidery through here, so I think that will, will do all right. Next up was this Carol Little linen top. That's just surface, surface line. This is a Carol Little linen top. 100% linen and it is size large. Last time I picked up Carol Little, I picked up a lamb's wool piece and did really, really well. They tend to have really nice fabrics and that it's a really good size. I also found these really, really worn. Um, I'm to the point now where I can really recognize linen, like just based off of the look of it and the feel. And I'm so excited to find these. This is a 100% linen pair of athletic pants. Yeah, they are 100% linen, so those will do really well. Next we've got a pair of women's chicos. And I like to pick these up in the larger sizes. So. Alright guys, so I just got out of the outlet. It's another plane. Um, yeah, so I just got out of the outlet and I came out with quite a bit more than I thought I would. I stayed for three rotations. And um, I stayed for three rotations and I think what I want to do is show you guys uh, Maybe like the 10 to 15 best pieces I feel like I got today. I don't have time to do a whole haul, but I'll show you like the best ones I got. There's some really good stuff in here. All right guys, so I got the uh, pile of clothes filtered through 
and I'm gonna go through these as fast as I can. There's probably maybe 20 pieces. We're gonna go through them pretty fast though uh, because my phone doesn't have a whole lot of uh, juice left. So here we go. All right, so this first piece here is, at first when I found it, I didn't know what it was, but I was like, this is really good quality. And then I found that. This is more St. John. Um, and I also knew it was St. John when I looked down here. This is just, looks really familiar with how they do their tags. So this is a wool piece by St. John. Really, really happy to find that. This next piece is a kid's, sorry, it's having trouble focusing guys. I'm gonna try to keep it back here. This is a kid's uh, Nordstrom wool blazer. Uh, Nordstrom kids. There we go. And yeah, it's a wool blend blazer. Um, I thought that was pretty lightweight and wool. Um, this is a cropped shirt by a brand I have never found actually. It's called Who or What. I have heard of it. Sorry. There are going to be a lot of disruptions by planes. Um, because we're right by the airport. So I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, this is by We Or What. And it does have some staining, but I'm gonna try my best to get that out because I think this is a really, really good brand. So yeah, found that. Um, this is a really beautiful coat by Torrid. It is a wool blend, really, really nice. Furry top coat by, eh, by Torrid. This, was, this would have been an expensive coat and I think this will sell really well going into winter. You'll notice today I really scored on um, outerwear about all the outerwear that I found. This is like a really nice wool line coat and the buttons are really neat too. Focus phone, come on. There we go, really cool button. So very happy about that. This is a Goose Down Parka by Land's End and it is a women's medium, I think. Yep, women's medium, really, really nice goose down parka. This is a cover-up romper by the brand Rip Curl. I had never found Rip Curl before, but the comps looks really good. This is a beautiful camel-colored wool trench coat, and it is vintage by Cassidy Petite, it says. Let's see. There we go. Cassidy Pete Petite, hand-tailored and we've got 100% wool, so I'm really trying to get my outerwear stocked in my closet for the winter. This is, this is a women's soft surroundings top and periwinkle. It is a size large, and that should do well. Soft surroundings sells really well for me. This is a new with tags B Try It, and it is a wrap skirt. I'm just now noticing a hole but yeah, I was really happy to find this. I've never found this brand before and I've heard good things about it. I will probably still list it for something. Um, this is a brand I had never heard of called Tahama. Looks kind of vintage, but I picked it up because it's a merino silk cashmere blend and it is um, size men's XL, just like a navy blue sweater. So get your cashmere and wool list. I found a lot of wool today. Okay, I am in love with this blazer. This blazer is so cool. The colorway and the pattern and everything. It is a vintage Sycamore is the brand. Um, and it is a wool blazer, single button, um, fully lined. It is just so, so pretty. And I apologize, guys. I hope I'm not making you dizzy because I don't have my uh, selfie stand today. This is a beautiful skirt by the brand Winter Silks. I feel like I heard about it somewhere, but regardless, I was like, okay, that's really good material, 100% silk. I am going to pick it up. And so I did. Winter Silks, 100% silk, really, really lightweight skirt. Next is this rail shirt. And this is the first time I've ever found rails and picked it up. I just hardly ever find it. And it's a really cute plaid shirt for the fall. I'm going to take a little break because another plane coming in. Indianapolis International Airport, guys. We get a lot of traffic here with air travel. And what a, I guess being Saturday, there's a lot more. 
This I was just like ecstatic to find. This is a really, really cute oversized free people top and it is like a gauzy cotton. And size medium, has a couple tiny little flaws around here, but I think it's still gonna sell because this, this thing guys is just perfect for the fall. It is so cute. Super oversized. Next, I found a pair of Spanx. Size medium. Spanx leggings. Then we have this vintage Old Navy 100% leather skirt. I almost decided to not get this, but I was like, someone's gonna want this. Whoever knew Old Navy had a collection line. This is a cashmere blend v-neck sweater by Gap. Picked it up because of the cashmere component. Another really cute free people sweater. And I thought the colorway was really, really cute. I think this will do well. Really, really, it's cropped and then it's like super slouchy and oversized. There we go. Okay, this, I was like, is that real? So this is actually calf hair. Um, this paneling on this J. Crew collection um, cardigan. So J. Crew collection. And this is wool and 100% calf hair on those panels on the front. So the panels on the front were what made me be like, wow, this is, wow, that's impressive. So I really scored with the good fabrics today. This is a beautiful Lauren Ralph Lauren crest. So if you ever find something like with this on it, it's more valuable. And this is like really intricate. Like it's raised, raised up and everything. Like it's a whole patch. Um, this is a Lauren Ralph Lauren cardigan, double breasted, ribbed, really, really nice. Um, I sold something very similar to this in that was 100% wool. Um, mm, maybe a couple weeks ago and it sold for $80. So it's got these really cool buttons and it is, it is black. All right, the last piece I'm gonna show you is this uh, men's blazer. is 100% camel hair. And yeah, I've never picked something up that's 100% camel hair. I've never really found it. This is by the brand Stafford Executive, which typically I just wouldn't really ever pick up Stafford. But because of the 100% camel hair, I thought, okay, maybe this will be something really, you know, worth a lot of money. 42 regular, so, and it's a beautiful color, light brown for this time of year, so. That is the rest of my best pieces from this haul. All right, guys, so that was the haul. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm actually really, really shocked how much good outerwear I got today. I usually do not find that much good outerwear, and this is the perfect time of year to be finding it and to be listing it, so, um, Keep that in mind look for really good materials look for and you can see it's, it's a big haul back there um, look for good materials look for outerwear this time of year um, despite there being so many people at the bins today I still found a lot of really good stuff um, so yeah uh, if you enjoyed it please hit the thumbs up button if you're new to the channel and you like this kind of content hit the subscribe button so that you can get notified when I make uh, more videos similar to this. So, all right, everyone, have a great weekend. Happy listing, happy sales, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.